What's up guys, Wesley here, representing the rise of the golden era of bodybuilding on vintage genetics. Let's bring it back guys. Today is a classic arm day, Arnold Schwarzenegger style. It will comprise of supersets between biceps and triceps. The first exercise is a machine curl. Utilizing the full range of motion as you can see is a must here. Get as much blood in the biceps as you can. We superset this with the French press exercise. Both are basic movements for each respective muscle, so it's a good superset to start with and get the arms going. On the French press, I like going down a little further as you can see. I don't stop at the forehead like you would do during a skull crusher, hence the name. This motion allows you to stretch your triceps some more, which I believe is very important for tricep growth, especially the long head of the triceps. Now we are off doing the most famous bicep exercise by Arnold, the straight barbell curl. Try to keep your elbows at your waist, not against it though, and don't go too far up with your elbows as it will stress your front delts more. This exercise is basically to add mass on your biceps overall, but make sure you control the movement, it's easy to get injured if you go too heavy. This will be supersetted with a close grip press, emphasizing the medial head of the tricep. I like using an easy curl bar for this exercise, it's easier on the wrists, but never grip too narrow though. Everybody has their own grip width to where they feel it the most, but I like this width right here. Now for a more interesting exercise, this one is to emphasize the peak of the bicep as well as putting a lot more tension on the biceps as compared to a regular dumbbell curl. You cannot go heavy on this one though, just concentrate on the contraction and the stretch, feel the tension, the more you feel it, the more you'll get out of this exercise. We superset this bicep exercise with a tricep rope pushdown. This exercise emphasizes the small head of the triceps and as you can see we hit every single part of the triceps so far and the biceps are full as well. Now keep in mind that every exercise works the entire muscle but with certain movements you can emphasize certain parts of the muscle just a bit more. For example, during the rope pushdown here, you make sure to spread apart your wrists at the bottom as far as the rope goes. This puts a lot of tension on the small head. The next superset starts with a close grip preacher curl. The preacher part makes sure there's extra tension on your biceps, and the close grip part makes sure you hit the outside of your biceps a little more. I have always found it difficult to bring that peak up, but it's a matter of exercise selection and a good mind muscle connection, knowing how to contract the muscle in the most effective way. So this exercise is a great one to emphasize on the peak of the biceps. We combine this with some machine dips. As you can see, I sit on the front of the seat. I feel my triceps that much better this way. No need to go up a lot with your uh, arm. Your triceps should be pumped and you feel the stretch a lot sooner than usual by this point. Do make sure you squeeze at the bottom to keep the pump going. The final superset starts out with the famous concentration curls. Another good one for the peak. You know, I don't just like having big biceps, they should be shaped a certain way. Now of course you are severely limited by your genes, but as I always say, don't let things like that slow you down. There is always something you can do, no matter how small the difference. Just stay consistent and you'll be surprised by your potential. We superset this one with another single arm exercise. I like doing a stretching movement at the end of the tricep workout, which this exercise is. 
and when the tricep is full the effect of the stretch is much greater your triceps are pumped so the stretch they experience now are more extreme than they normally would experience which in my opinion is what you're aiming for you want to basically you know shock the muscle this way With arms, I like to do some shoulders, usually rear delts, because those cannot be big enough and usually are neglected by most people. This exercise is kind of a face pull exercise, meaning you try to pull the bar to your face, activating your rear delts. Before this exercise, we did some rear delt cable flies and with this one, we basically finish off the rear delts. Keep the reps nice and high, the weight low, so you can really concentrate on the rear the delt contraction. As we come towards the end of the workout, it is time to drink some protein and head home to make a tasty, healthy, protein-rich, did I say tasty, meal. Look at this, I almost forgot to film this. It's a nice meal that I pretty much eat every day now because I'm uh, on a contest diet. Um, it basically consists of brown rice, uh, brown beans, um, codfish, 200 grams, and uh, 300 grams of mixed vegetables and then I add like 10 grams of uh, oil or you know coconut oil and some Cajun spices with ginger and uh, stuff like that so you know tastes really good really healthy minerals vitamins protein you know everything you need is in here guys it's time to check out the progression. It's been about a week since last time and this is episode two. So let's see if I improve. It's different lightning though. Uh, no lightning from above, which was the case in the gym. So it might look a little worse, but we'll see. Supersets. I think it is important to keep practicing your posing because then you know how to contract the muscles better. And uh, while doing the workouts, you also gotta use some mind muscle connection. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the comments. It really motivates me to keep making these videos. A lot more new content is coming. And I'll see you next time, and remember to stay bold.